My name is Dick Harderwijn, born and raised in the Netherlands. Over the last few years I've been working as a, as a cameraman, mainly aimed for documentary and wildlife films. The last six to seven years I've been filming various uh, wildlife films for cinema in the Netherlands. And today is the premiere of one of them. I think Wild is a film uh, which is very unique. Uh, a film like this has never been made in the Netherlands. I think the film is, is like a hybrid between a documentary and a drama film. Actually, it is a wildlife documentary, but it definitely has a, has a drama story to it. And so I think a film like this is, has never been made in the Netherlands, and I'm really proud that we've been able to do something like this. We chose for the Panasonic Ferricam for various reasons. We started at first to test different cameras. We looked at uh, Arya Mira, we looked at Sony cameras but eventually we chose for Panasonic for two reasons. First of all, the, the way the image looked. We were filming outside in the forest. Green is a really important color, but also the, the way that the camera handles the highlights, the highlight roll off. Second to that, most of the animals that we filmed for this film are active in the dawn or dusk at the moment, so that light isn't very much available. And we're filming with long telephone, telephone lenses, so every bit of light is important. And with the high ISO, uh, the ISO 5000, we were able to film way before sun sunrise or after sunset. And I think most of the things in the film, most of the important scenes in the film are filmed in that period of time. When we started, um, we tested the camera at 4K, but soon the producer said he wanted to release the film in 2K. So 4K wasn't that important at first, but we realized the shots that we've made in 4K and that will be released in 2K, looked better than when we filmed everything in 2K. Um, that's something we've tested. We've tested, we watched in cinema in a, on a big screen, and that's why we chose to film everything in 4K. One of the uh, most difficult things to film for this film was to get emotion in the shots. Because it's not a wildlife documentary only, it's also a drama film, emotion is very important. And I think when you look at drama rules and the way you, as a cinematographer you get drama in the shots, most often it's, it's close-ups are, are used for that. And with the very shy animals that we filmed, the close-ups seemed to be the hardest. Um, it was quite difficult to get close to the animals uh, at first, uh, but we slowly, during the two years that we worked on this, developed a way how to get closer and closer, and we eventually got the, the shots like, like the really close-ups. We've worked with various different lenses, from really wide angle, 11 millimeters, to uh, extreme tele lenses. The most important lens for that was the 52000, um, the Canon lens. But we had two camera sets. We were filming together, the director and me. We had one 52000 and one converted photo lens, a Sigma 150 to 600. And eventually, when I look at the, the film here in the cinema. I see the shots from the, from the very expensive 52000 lens to compare to the relatively cheap 100, uh, 150 to 600 from Sigma. I can't see which shots are made with which, which lens. So it's really interesting. For a wildlife film, the Vericam 35 is quite heavy. But for this film, we filmed mainly from heights. So most of the heights that we were filming from we were able to get close to with the car, so the, the weight of the camera wasn't really a problem. I think if I would do another film like this, exactly the same thing, I probably would choose for the Vericam LT, because it's lighter, but even though with the 35, with the long lens on it, I was able to walk, I think, about two to three miles through the forest, of course, with some pauses in between, but that was, for this film, more than enough. We filmed on the, on the cards in the camera, so we haven't used raw output, but we filmed on the cards. And everything that we brought to the uh, editor was copied to a RAID, and from there was copied to a second RAID on a second location. And in the meantime, we made proxies uh, using Premiere. Uh, everything's edited in Premiere. We made proxies to ProRes, and everything's edited in ProRes, and afterwards we color graded the scratch. I think this is a very easy workflow. Uh, of course, a film like this, as a huge amount of data. I think we, we ran over about 100 terabytes in the end. 
But still, yeah, I think that it was relatively easy to work with the Ferricam files. So.